This week in the workshop, we're going to join a cult. A cult. The Barnacle Bay. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. We are going to start working on Shark Bear from the Cult of Barnacle Bay from Cult Panda. Oh man. Panda Cult Games. I believe that's that's the one. I'll look it up next time and I'll have it right. So he's kind of a cool thing. He's half bear, half shark. It's a plastic looking kind of a yeah. Single cast, no um, nothing for me to put together. But he's got some really neat uh, details going on in there. You know, it's got the it's got the big fin of the shark, head of the shark, but he's got tufts of fur like a bear. So we are going to have at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the gray parts, the shark parts, first. And I'm going to start off with Mechanicus Standard Gray. If it decides to, you know, keep the lid up, but it doesn't. But I don't care. We are going to use our medium, our medium base brush from Citadel Colors. Take some of that gray. Probably more than enough. Hint of water. Put that in there to help smooth it out so it flows nice. And away we go. Painting a shark. Of course, this is again just kind of blocking in the gray color. of the uh, of the gray we're gonna get a good nice coat going on here probably have to go back through and Double up some coats. Well, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And right now, if we go over parts that are fur, no big deal. Guys, we will get out and clean them up later. When uh, we get to other colors, okay. let's 
It's got ears though. Because he's a bear. There we go. It's coming along quite nice, I think. Rawr, rawr. Of course, if you want to add a real scope of realism to paint jobs and stuff like that, especially for neat mythical creatures like this, um, especially if they're mythical creatures sort of based in the real world, like a shark combined with a bear, go, go search and look up what, you know, colors of sharks. Now this one I'm kind of doing kind of as a great white. Now what most people do do sharks. I'm sure you could do whatever shark whatever kind of shark you want. into the fur. What am I doing? Going into the fur. Go over a couple of spots that are looking a little thin. looking he's looking pretty cool already now of course I've left the tail to last because well I'm just that way It's also checking to make sure that we got all the parts kind of coated and painted, covered when we need it. Coated, covered, and looking good all right so now we are on to the tail because the tail is the fun part I don't know why the tail is the fun part I'm just saying the tail is the fun part could be the fun part could be your least favorite part I don't know to me it's kind of fun and there's this big old fish part. Not that, you know, sharks are fish. Oh no, they are fish, right? I don't know. There's people out there who are smarter than me that will know, quite, that will know the answer to that question. Uh, 
But just remember, just like Bruce says, fish are friends, not food. I'm not even going to try an Australian accent because, one, that would just be bad. And two, I can see the line without having to have the answer. There we are. Boom. That's pretty much the gray. Great parts all put in. Done with that guy for now. We'll go back to my one of my other workhorses. Uh, there you are. My small layer brush. And we're gonna start working kind of on the chest here. Now, the chest, you know, it's kind of like a white color. And you can decide how light, how pure white or off white or grayish white you want to go. So, what I'm going to do, kind of go grayish white. If I still have any of it. I might not. <laughs> Look that I do. It's chunky, but it will work. You just need a touch more water to thin it down. Kind of blend. Give us some lines to work with.
we are. We are starting to get good. Good luck. But how the shark bear is gonna start coming up. Again, if we go over any spots that we'll eventually have fur, that's that's okay. We will catch it later. Clean it up later. Basically what I'm doing right now is just again blocking it in. And making the color solid. So it looks all good, flesh like. This guy is definitely an interesting character. But, uh, but he's come along. He looks kind of. He looks fairly fun. Now he does have, you know, bear paws, so I'm gonna leave those and help you do those. Brown and black. Kind of like the fur. Nice, thank you. But you don't want to cover up the detail that's in there. You don't want, you don't want to mess up. Any of this stuff? Uh, 
Well, there we are, I think. At least for the moment. Get the chest. are going to do is going to go back to the darker gray and just hit some of the spots that we've that we've missed. Not necessarily we're painted over, but we just missed. And of course, the uh, underarm, as you can see. Pretty good, I think. Now we just not necessarily think about you know the colors, but you know, kind of give it a thought about what kind of colors we want. We want for the bear. One track bear. Anyway. Because I mean he's got robes here in the back. Kind of come in and oh tabard. Aha. See? Sometimes I remember them. Sometimes I don't. It's got a tabard here and what could be um, well, we got little rivets in them, so it might be metal. Of course a metal uh, buckle, leather or metal belt, and of course all the fur. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to worry about finishing off the gray stuff and, you know, they're going for, oh, excuse me, oh, I apologize. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to start. With both ray gray, which is actually a quite nice. Uh, 
sorry. Take our small layer brush. Get some both way gray going. Hit it down. What we're going to do is we're going to start kind of highlighting. Muscles. You know, and also giving us another layer to that white. Which is quite nice. Almost got that white color going on. It's starting to look real good, you know, kind of shark like. Which is good because that's what he is. Well, yeah, the bear. But the parts that we're worried about right now is the sharp parts. All right, guys. So we are going to basically leave off right here. As you can see, he's all kinds of shark. All right. And the next time, we'll probably start working on the bear parts. And continuing to work on the shark parts. But until then, as always... Stay safe, paint safe, and we'll see you next time in the workshop.